Hey guys, welcome to this week's WTF. We are putting to the test a $140 face moisturizing priming base from By Terry. It does a lot of things. It has a lot of claims. It is actually tinted, so there's a little bit of a peach luminous glow, which in my mind kind of reminded me a little bit of the Tom Ford bronzing primer that I really wanted to work for me, but was actually a very streaky, horrible mess, and I don't recommend that one. This I have hopes for. This actually has crushed pearl. It has has luminous properties. It's said to make your skin glow, look really hydrated without being heavy or greasy. You have salt, calcium, anti-aging minerals. The list goes on. It's by Terry. I think when you hear the name by Terry, you immediately know it's going to be high end and there are going to be a lot of things going on in all of the products. They all have a lot of claims. They're very anti-aging and I'm excited to give this a whirl. This is the box. It is gorgeous. It's very fancy schmancy. This is a limited edition product. They do have their original elixir or balm for the face, I feel, but it doesn't have the luminous little something special going on in it. Let me show you what this looks like. You get a spatula in here and you guys, you know, when I'm reviewing expensive products, I'm always like, oh, look, you get this little bag that you're going to toss out, not use, or look at this applicator that you don't want to use. This is actually something that when you get a high end cream or a product like this, that I actually recommend keeping a hold of because you don't want to be digging your fingers in the jar and creating a bacteria mess inside of this jar. If you're paying this kind of money for a product, you want to make it last and keep it as fresh as possible for as long as possible. So this is what you have going on, $140 for this. You be the judge if this is worth it to you or not. I know skincare is something when I'm doing WTF that I actually think more often than not is more justified than say like you know, the $57 pencils, you know what I'm saying? So you open this up and it looks actually quite pigmented. It almost looks like a color correcting concealer that you would put underneath your eyes. I'm really curious if this is gonna make me look like overly pink or overly shiny because there's definitely an intense sheen in here. It almost looks like gold micro glitter, but we're putting it to the test. When I was reading up on this, it does say that you can skip your moisturizer and primer. This is a two-in-one. It's gonna make your foundation glide right on. We're gonna get to the bottom of this and see how it works out for application of foundation and other makeup. And if it keeps me hydrated and helps my makeup to stay looking fresh all day long with, you know, my check-ins throughout the day, we'll do that whole biz. But for now, let me scoot you guys a little bit closer and we will start putting this on my face. Oh my God, this is like the world's loosest headband. Whose head? needs a headband like this. The heck? I can literally smell the contents of this jar with the lid on and it closed. That is how fragrant this product is. By Terry Products, they have this really, really intense rose scent. Some people love it and that's what they gravitate toward. And they're like, give me that rose fragrance. I love it. It is so luxurious. For me, that's actually something that I don't like about the brand. I just don't really like rose heavy fragrance. That's just me. But the products are so smooth and rich and luxurious and they do wonders for the skin as far as any of the bases, foundations, bronzers that I've used, powders, they're all really great. They just have that scent that is very, very intense. So you have been warned. Opening the jar up, you can see the contents are very salmon peachy pink. And I'm going to go ahead and take a little bit of product. I'm not taking much because you don't get a lot, you get one ounce. So I'm gonna put this on the back of my hand. Something I'm doing recently is actually using a foundation brush to apply any of my primers, especially my Guerlain Gold Lifting Primer. I feel like you get a little bit more on the face than when you're pressing it in with your fingers. At least that's just how I'm doing it recently. I'll start by priming half the face so we can see the level of luminosity that it gives. And I have not moisturized, so my skin feels crazy dry right now. It has a really strong gel texture, so it's not like a normal cream that has an oily finish or a heavy finish. It just is sinking right in. You can see, like if I put the mirror really close up to my face, I can see a little teeny tiny shimmer, not in a bad way. Like that sounds really unappealing. It just gives this nice luminous look. I'm gonna bring it under my eye just to see if we can get kind of like a brightening luminous type of a thing and maybe it'll help my concealer 
go on a little bit better. All right, we're back to crazy land where I can actually see a difference in this side of my face and it actually feels very firming as well. So this is the luminous side. This is the unhydrated side. This is really beautiful. I love how it went on. I really, really love how it went on. It's not doing any weird color or anything streaky or strange. It's just making my skin look really nice. I can actually see, and they do recommend this online. They're like, whether you're wearing foundation or you just wanna wear this on its own to give your skin a little bit of a pick-me-up. It can just kind of bring your skin to life a little more than just using a basic moisturizer with nothing in it. I'm gonna apply the product to the other half of my face and we will continue this journey. You guys, that just like sinks right into my skin and I feel like it's hydrating, it's so, so nice. If you only knew how dehydrated the surface of my skin is right now, I'm just really battling it out with the temperature in California. I know you guys always send me pictures of like, you think California is cold, this is where I live and it's all like icy and snowy, but I still feel the season change and my skin definitely picks up on a temperature drop even though it's not a really like wild drastic one. I always feel like this time of year I'm just dehydrated hydrated probably from sitting in front of the fireplace way too often and cranking the heat up in my home but my skin has just been really really dry i feel like i just did a face mask it's bringing it back to life beautifully oh my god okay so what i'm going to do now is apply my cream contour this is something i'm going to kind of sneak in here because i've been using this so much this is newer from Lorac, and I'm sure you guys have picked up on my makeup recently has been just a little bit different, and I am back in the game of contouring my face with cream products. I normally hate cream contour, but this palette kind of changed my mind about it. I've been using it for a few weeks now, and I really, really love it. So I am gonna really go in. You guys are gonna be shocked by how I am applying my makeup. I used to do this on camera all the time, and I'm just, I'm back into contouring underneath my foundation and it ends up looking really, really natural. This is a Scott Barnes technique, I love it. And I'm just gonna take these two shades right here. I am using this Kat Von D number 10 brush and I really love this for contour. It does disperse a ton of product all at once, so you gotta kinda go in a little bit gently, but it's angled in a way that I really, really like the application. Everything went on really smoothly as far as my contour and highlight. I'm gonna go in with a light layer of the LA Girl Pro Coverage High Definition Longwear Illuminating Foundation. So everything today is illuminating, illuminating, we're gonna be very illuminated. I really love this one though. So I took two pumps of natural, one pump of porcelain, and I'm gonna use my beauty blender to blend this on. really thrilled with how my makeup applied. I kind of think this stuff might be magic in a jar because my makeup glided on and you guys saw I did crazy contouring, which usually drags and pulls at the skin a little bit and nothing balled up, nothing was weird. The only thing that is bugging me aside from the fragrance, I'm kind of like deducting points because I personally don't like how heavily fragranced it is, but that's kind of one of those maybe non-issues. Um, aside from that, the one thing that's like, eh, I wish that my pores were not as visible. I usually use my pore professional. And so if I'm looking really close up in the mirror, I can see my pores. I'm not a fan of that. So in the future, I would probably put this on and then put my pore professional or some type of a pore minimizing primer right in those areas where I feel like I have large pores. But aside from that, this is doing an excellent job. It wasn't overly pink peach, actually went on very clear, but gave a little bit of radiance. I'm kind of in love and I'm gonna see how this wears if it breaks apart my foundation because that's the other thing. Sometimes moisturizers and hydrating primers throughout the day can just really get messy. Initially, you'll look in the mirror and you're like, wow, everything's hydrated and good. And then things start Start breaking and patching apart. So I want to see if the hydrating ingredients in this product help my makeup to look good all day or if it turns into a disaster. It could go one way or the other. But right now, I'm going to say I am impressed. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Watch this. He won't get it. Fetch! Yeah. I wouldn't want to go and grab things and bring them back for no reason either. Let's try it again. Look! Look! Fetch! 
Hey guys, so it is now like five hours later. I apologize. I have been so busy doing really boring work things. So I didn't do check-ins because literally it would be me at my computer typing emails or editing. Just like it's been a mix of that. So, uh, but I just kind of climbed back upstairs. I went into my bathroom and I looked in the mirror and I was like, oh my gosh, this is doing really well. I'm having such a good makeup day because normally I have to blot quite a bit. My face gets greasy really easily. But the other weird thing that happens to my skin, which is total nonsense, is the top layer gets really dehydrated. So I usually have a little bit of like a dehydrated patch right here, a little bit through here where things look dry but also greasy, which is like the most maddening mess ever. Like, can my skin decide to be one or the other? No, it just, it doesn't want to do that. Anyway, this base, whatever the hydrating base has just allowed my foundation to sit on my skin really beautifully and it's not breaking apart. So I am loving this. I know I've tried a lot of primers on my channel. I did the Sicily WTF and that one was pretty good. The Guerlain Gold, that one really firms and lifts and I feel like when I'm puffy and I need like a firming action, that is what I reach for, but this one, is like a miracle worker. It is making my skin have really nice texture. It is hydrating, but keeping oil from peeking through somehow. I don't know, I'm really into it. I love it. I love how my skin looks today. So I'm gonna keep using this like tomorrow and the next day and the next day, because I really wanna make sure that I still super love it. But right now, as far as a first impression, I'm gonna go ahead and say, don't waste your money on all these stupid products like a $57 eyeliner or you know Tom Ford lipstick like if you can splurge splurge on skincare that's always going to be the thing that I say splurge on your skincare because if you can make your skin look great you can totally cut corners everywhere else 100% so that is where we are at right now I am just huddling up by the fire because I'm that total California girl that is always cold and my favorite hobby in life seems to be sitting in front of this fireplace I should really like start a series where I'm like it's Q&A time Tati by the fire because every single day of my life this is like what I do I like zone out in front of the fire so I'm gonna put the camera down and take five minutes to myself and do exactly that. So I will check in with you guys a little bit later, but we're about five hours in, it's dark outside, um, but I definitely you know, have more to do and I'm not going to bed right now or washing my face. So I will do another check-in in a little bit. How is it that my ring light is making me look even more tired? Oh my God. Um, okay guys, so I just got back from my family trip up to Seattle and I had managed in my mind, I was like, I'm going to do lots of check-ins up there, but actually I ended up just really spending quality time with the family, which was so good, but I wanted to sit back down and do one final check-in for this By Terry product. I wanted to show you guys. Look what I packed with me. This is a little uh, behind the scenes of my messy makeup bag. I did take my Guerlain Gold Primer, but this also came with, and I used it every single day. And in Seattle, the weather is a lot harsher than it is here in California. I'm kind of obsessed with this stuff. It makes your makeup look beautiful. It helps those dry patches. It makes the skin really just primed and ready for makeup. The scent sucks. It's horrible. That's the only thing I wish that they didn't do is put so much fragrance in this product. But if you have finicky dry skin and you're looking for a high-end primer, this is a beautiful one. So it is getting a huge thumbs up from me. I hope you guys enjoyed me testing out a ridiculously expensive primer, but hey, it actually worked. It's a new favorite. I do have my worst of the year, best of the year coming up soon, so stay tuned for that. Um, ignore this whole mess right here. I am really tired and have a lot on my plate, so I'm gonna continue unpacking the makeup, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and share it. Let me know in the comments what you wanna see next in an upcoming WTF, and I love you guys so, so much. I I hope you had a wonderful holiday and I will see you in tomorrow's video. Mm -hmm.